The overall goal of this procedure is to achieve proper pituitary coronal sections with well-preserved tissue architectures from developing mice. This method can help answer key questions in the field of pituitary development, such as pituitary histology, cell differentiation, proliferation, and apoptosis. The main advantage of this technique is that developing mullein pituitaries can be dissected without visible damage and properly oriented for achieving coronal sections. We first had the idea for this method when we found that for developing mullein pituitaries, it was technically difficult to obtain proper coronal sections. After anesthetizing and fixing mice according to the text protocol, use scissors to cut the skull bone open. Next, with forceps, gently lift the hindbrain from the base of the skull. Then, at the first sign of the cella tersica, stop lifting but hold the hindbrain and use fine scissors to cut the pituitary stalk and nerve fibers connected to the base of the brain. Continue to lift and remove the whole brain to fully expose the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland rests on the dorsal surface of the sphenoid bone and is surrounded laterally by trigeminal nerves. Then, use scissors to cut the entire cellar region, including the pituitary gland, lateral trigeminal nerves, and beneath the sphenoid bone. Put the tissue...